Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be installing this Blackmagic Decklink Duo 2 card into my Sonnet Thunderbolt 3 SE3 chassis. The reason is I want to be able to take my zoom callers and route them directly into my Blackmagic 2ME switcher. It's just another way of getting remote guests into a live show. Let's take a quick look at the features of this card and then we'll get right to the installation. Okay, we're looking at the Blackmagic Decklink Duo card on the B&H website. Currently at the time of this recording, it's selling for $495. Neither B&H or Blackmagic are sponsoring this video. I did pay for this out of my own funds. It does support four bi-directional SDI interfaces. So if we click on the card, we'll take a closer look. You can see the four connectors here. These are bi-directional, supporting up to 1080, 60. The fifth connector is used for reference, and if you see here, it does have a nice sizable fan to keep the card cool. Let's get on with the actual installation into the Thunderbolt chassis. All right, so we're taking a look at the Sonnet Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. Again, this is a three bay enclosure. I'm flipping it upside down because we need to remove these four screws in order to get the cover off the chassis. Now that the four screws are off, just simply Slide the cover off, just like that. And here you can see the inside of the actual chassis itself. Again, being a three bay enclosure, you have one, two, three PCIe card slots. And I already have a 10 gig networking card in there from when I was using this enclosure with my 2018 iMac. So we're gonna install the DeckLink Duo 2 card in one of these two available enclosures. For now, let's just move the enclosure off to the side like that. And let's get the DeckLink Duo card. Now I've already opened this box just to make sure everything was intact inside. So you do get the actual card itself. And then Blackmagic also gives you their welcome card, a few stickers, and their prompt to download DaVinci Resolve 18, their free editing software. So let's go ahead and get the card out of the box. It does come in protective plastic. It just reminds you to make sure you're free of any static electricity, which you can do simply by touching anything that is grounded. So let's pull the card out. And here is the actual card itself, like we showed you on the computer earlier. Now, before we get the card installed inside the actual chassis, I do want to point out that the connectors are not labeled. So how do you tell which are the four SDI bi-directional and which one is the reference? Well, if you take a quick look behind this connector here, there is no chip. But if you look behind each of the other four connectors, there is a chip. So the connector that does not have the chip that is your reference connector. So these four right here are the bi-directional SDI connectors. This one here is the reference. I just wanted to point that out. It's good to know. Let's put the card aside for a second. Let's bring the chassis back into view. And we are going to have to remove one of the actual slot covers in order for the SDI connectors to be able to stick out the back of the chassis. So let's go ahead and remove this screw here. Don't lose that screw because you're going to re-need to use it to secure the actual DeckLink Duo card in place. Once you have the screw and the slot cover removed, basically what you're going to do is line up the connectors here at the bottom. Now notice you have a smaller set of connectors and a larger set of connectors. That should match up with what's going on in the actual card slot itself in the chassis. So again, Carefully place the card inside the chassis. Make sure the connectors are lining up. Before I go any further, I'll show you here that I have them lined up with the card slot. Once they're lined up, it's just a simple question of pressing firmly and evenly until it kind of snaps in place. Just like that. Once you have it snapped in place, get the little screw and then just secure the card to the chassis. And that's all there is to it. Now it's time to reinstall the cover. Now 
now that the cover is on, if I flip the chassis up this way, you can see the actual BNC SDI connectors coming out of the back of the chassis. All right, now that we have the card successfully installed inside the enclosure, next thing you need to do is get the drivers installed. So head on over to blackmagicdesign.com, click on the support link at the top of the page, come over to select the product family and go all the way over to where it says capture and playback. Once you've done that, scroll down a little bit, look for latest downloads, and what you want to do is download and install the desktop video software. At the time of this video, the latest version is 12.7.1, which was released on October 23rd, 2023. You can see here it's available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys are using any of the Blackmagic products. Put that down in the comments below. Let me know exactly which product or products that you are using. For more content like this, click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.